In today's video, we will discuss about ameloblastic fibroma. So, ameloblastic fibroma is also called as soft mixed odontoma. The definition says that it is a true mixed tumor, relatively uncommon neoplasm of odontogenic origin characterized by simultaneous proliferation of both epithelial and mesenchymal tissues without the formation of enamel and dentin. Now uh, from the definition we come to know that it is a mixed tumor that is it will have epithelium as well as the mesenchymal tissue and the proliferation we will see that it is happening without the formation of enamel and dentin. So, in age, it is seen in younger age group. Then in sex, it is more prominent, predominant in males. Sight is the molar area of mandible. Now, coming on to the clinical features, it is basically, uh, it can show bulging of bone. It is uh, asymptomatic. And is accidentally discovered. It is slow growing and it does not infiltrate the trabeculae of bone. It does not infiltrate the trabeculae of bone. Then there's one more. It is seen to expand gradually so that the periphery of the lesion is smooth. Expand gradually so that lesions periphery is smooth. Now coming on to the radiographic features. In radiographic features what we see is it has a well corticated border. The diameter can vary from 1 to 8.5 centimeter uh, millimeter sorry and uh, it is also uh, it can be multilocular multilocular or it can be unilocular it can cause the expansion of cortical plates So, in a hair, multilocular and unilocular, it will show a multilocular or unilocular radiolucency which will resemble a dentigerous cyst. So, from this, you should remember that it can be associated with unerupted. Tooth. Mostly they are associated with it. Now, coming on to the histopathology, for this we'll draw a diagram. Now, from the diagram, we'll write the histopathological features. First of all, we'll describe the ectodermal portion. In ectodermal portion, what we really see is, we see that there are scattered islands of tumor cells, scattered islands of tumor cells in the form of rosettes, strands, and nests 
cords. Then the epithelium resembles the odontogenic epithelium. The tumor cells are seen as a mushroom type proliferation. As a mushroom type proliferation in fibrous connective tissue stroma. Then in the mesenchymal portion we see that the there are plump stellate or ovoid cells with loose fibroblastic stroma fibroblastic stroma which is resembling the dental papilla this now coming on to the treatment treatment is simple it is either conservative or surgical now to sum up again first of all amyloblastic fibroma it is also called as a soft mixed odontoma now it is a true mixed tumor which is relatively very uncommon and it is a neoplasma of odontogenic origin characterized by simultaneous proliferation of both the uh, epithelium and the mesenchymal tissues without the formation of enamel and dentine now it is seen in younger males and in molar area of the mandible okay now uh, it is asymptomatic accidentally discovered slow growing and it does not infiltrate the uh, trabecula of the bone then it can and it is basically it shows pain tenderness mild swelling also it can cause the mobility of the teeth and facial deformity or asymmetry then it expands gradually the very smooth mobility of teeth it has a well corticated border multilocular it is radiolucent it is usually uh, associated with erupted unerupted tooth then in ectodermal portion you see rosette silence then it resembles odontogenic epithelium mushroom type proliferation is important then mesenchymal uh, plump which resembles the dental papillae then the treatment so this is amyloblastic fibroma.